Greetings friends and fellow cigar box guitar enthusiasts. Del Puckett here and spring is in the air. Just kidding. But springs are going to be installed onto this three string cigar box guitar. So whenever I do install springs, I get these hooks and these are the same hooks that go on the top here. I got a stash of these things here. And this one here is going to be a dual spring system. So I'm gonna put one on either side one spring is okay, two is the best, any more than two is just noise, in my opinion. And you can experiment with different sizes here. This is a three inch spring, and I'm stretching it out to be about five inches long. And like I said, there's no, there's no rhyme or reason to it. There's no science to it, just kind of uh, experiment around. I put these here on the same here just for symmetry. That's also, it looks good. And then I have a two inch spring here. And this is a little bit uh, smaller spring and a little bit looser. And the reason why I don't do the same, I have a, a large one and a smaller one. And that is so that it captures a wider range of frequencies. If they were both the same size and the same tension, then they would just be kind of the same and competing and stuff like that. You wanna keep the springs away from any kind of a magnetic pickup. These things work, work best with the piezo system, which is just a vibration system. And then what I do is I put it up to my ear, give it the old bang and make sure that I can hear that reverb. And I, I can, I can hear it really good. Let me touch it to the phone here and see if it'll translate. It probably won't translate. Maybe you can hear that. Anyhow, let's uh, put this thing together, plug it in, tune it up, see what it sounds like. All right, we got the strings on. We are intonated. Look at that awesome butterfly hinge. All right, so we are not plugged in. This is just strictly acoustic. This is a 19 inch scale neck, it's a little bit smaller than normal. So I opted for the 30 gauge tuned to E, 22 gauge tuned to B, and the 14 gauge tuned to E. All right, so check out this reverb. All right, let's plug it in. All right, we are plugging into the Roland Microcube and I wanted you to see here that the reverb is off. Okay, that's important. So the reverb is off and I'm plugged directly in here.
You can really hear those springs now. That one's really loose. All right, so that wraps it up for this dual spring reverb Arturo Fuente three string cigar box guitar. Uh, if you like these videos, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, I did want to point out here, notice how it says handmade here really in the uh, fine print all along the edge there. I thought that's kind of a neat little uh, detail there. All right, you guys, I will see you around.